In my previous video, Relationship of the Ball Earth Radius to the Flat Earth, I explained that we are told that the radius of the alleged ball Earth is 3,958.8 miles. And when one looks into the history of the meter, one can see that the meter was originally defined in 1793 as one ten millionth of the distance from the equator to the North Pole. So it sounds like they took the distance from the North Pole to the equator, and then they called that one quarter of the circumference of the globe Earth, ball Earth, and they solved for R. And when they did that, they came up with 3,958.8 miles. And when one goes the other way, one can calculate the distance from the North Pole to the equator to be 6,218.5 miles. One can use this number along with the formula for the circumference of a circle, c equals 2 pi r, and the area of a circle of pi r squared in order to determine the circumference and the area of the flat earth. Um, okay, so if we were to take the half, half radius and double it, it should give us the radius. Um, this is the first calculation I did, um, but it should be noted that it may not be a, a good number since it extends beyond the ice wall, and we don't know what's beyond it. But just to see what the number is, um, first I took the distance from the North Pole to the radius to the equator of 6,218.5 miles. I doubled it to get the, what I would call the, the radius in this calculation, 12,436.9 miles. I then solved for the surface area and surface area and got around 486 million square miles and a circumference of about 78,000 miles. One can then compare this to the surface area of the sphere, the spherical Earth, by using the formula 4 pi r squared. And then you'd use the radius that they provide of 3,958.8. And when one does this, the globe Earth calculates a surface area of, a surface area of about 197 million square miles compared to the flat Earth of 486 million square miles. And just to verify my math is correct, for at least the spherical, the globe Earth, um, it appears to be correct. So the difference is there's about 289 million more, 289 million square miles more on a flat Earth than the globe, which is about 146, 147%. And another way of stating it is that for every square mile accounted for on the globe or the Gleason's map, there is 1.47 square miles unaccounted for. Since it can be argued that it's an unfair comparison of surface area between the globe and the flat Earth, since this circumference and surface area includes all this area beyond the uh, ice wall, um, I then did a calculation of the surface area on a globe versus a flat Earth from 45 degrees south, which is about here, to the center of the flat Earth, and 45 degrees south on a globe to the North Pole. And when I, in order to do this on a sphere, I had to calculate the spherical cap. Imagine this upside down, and you would calculate that. Take the total surface area and subtract that. So that's what I did there in order to determine the spherical cap. Um, I took A equals 2 pi r height. So this is the 197 million, million square miles is the total surface area. I calculated the surface area of the cap from 45 degrees south down towards the alleged south pole. Got about 29 million square miles, subtracted that. And the, t the remaining surface area is about 168 million square miles compared to the surface area from 45 degrees south north to the center of the Earth on a flat Earth is about 273 million square miles. So there is 
about 105 million square miles unaccounted for on the globe or Gleason's map. Uh, we're 62% more uh, square miles than what we're told. And the final way to state that is for every square mile that is accounted for on the globe or Gleason's map, there's 0.63 square miles unaccounted for. And finally, because we know there are celebrities who fake their deaths, and I'd imagine that they would want to go somewhere warm afterwards, I calculated the, and comp I compared the torrid zones of the globe and the flat earth, which is defined as the, the area between the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn. So there's your Tropic of Can Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, calculating this surface area in here versus this surface area in here on a flat earth. Um, Tropic, Tropic of Cancer has a, Lat line latitude of 23.4 degrees north. Tropic of Capricorn has a line latitude of 23.4 degrees south. And when I calculated that, I came up with about 78 million square miles on a globe versus about 126 or 127 million square miles on a flat earth. There are about 48 million square miles unaccounted for on a globe between the Tropic of Ca Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. Uh, that's about 61% more surface area on a flat Earth versus a globe. And finally, the for every square mile accounted for on a globe or Gleason's map, there's 0.62 square miles unaccounted for. So given all this information, I would imagine, I would not be surprised if one were to go sailing from, say, Australia to South America, one would find a lot of unaccounted for land masses. Okay, points regarding the surface area. Um, point number one, the round earth lie is an interesting way of hiding unknown areas of the world. Uh, point number two, the world becomes smaller when one realizes the Earth is flat and not round, since one then realizes there are no galaxies or planets. But then, when, but then the world becomes larger when one calculates the surface area of the flat Earth relative to the round Earth. And third and finally, when one realizes the additional surface area of the flat Earth relative to the round Earth, one can see how much additional room there is for celebrities to go after faking their deaths.